On the inside, you've got all weather slush mats. Life on the showroom floor could become very difficult if the U.S. imposes tariffs on vehicles and auto parts. But Sean Gibson is facing that challenge with a positive attitude. In the short term, there definitely would be uh, um, a decline in, in, in sales. I think we'd have to, to, to get creative with how we serve our customers and, and offering the right value. Creativity may be needed for the industry to survive what could be a major blow. A report released today by the Canadian Automobile Dealers Association predicts 100,000 job losses in Canada if new tariffs are imposed on autos. At the same time, prices would also spike by up to $9,000 per vehicle. The impact would be enormous. Uh, on the manufacturing side, on the retailing side, and then all the way on down through the economy. The Trump administration will decide in the next few months whether it will impose a 25% tariff on imported vehicles as a way, it says, to protect American national security by beefing up its own auto industry. The prime minister and business leaders are demanding Donald Trump scrap the idea, arguing it could kill more American jobs than it would create. It would do so much damage to uh, to be quite frank, uh, a number of uh, states where uh, the president's popularity is, uh, is very much in play. Gibson says the uncertainty has not led to any changes in customer behavior. If it does, he's prepared to adapt. Auto dealers have dealt with bankruptcies from manufacturers, uh, from, ch uh, from you know, surging fuel prices. Uh, we find a way around it. And, and I think anyone in this business knows that, that there's we're survivors. That positive attitude may be tested if the industry is forced to go into survival mode. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.